Yes, well, these officers called me up a, a week or so ago and wanted to have this meeting and asked that I invite Jake to come to it. And so um, I uh, don't have a lot to say here, but I'd like to turn it over to these guys. So. Sure. I'll, uh, this is our crime prevention set, uh, section at the Bismarck Police Department. Sergeant Brockers runs a section. Officer Horn and uh, Officer Polar are the officers. And, um, and this summer, um, Jake, you think this is probably about the, one of those parties? You're trying to figure out which one this is about in the last couple, couple weeks, but it has absolutely nothing to do with that. You're okay. Um, but um, I got a call from, from Jake uh, last spring, and uh, he was interested in doing an internship with the Bismarck Police Department. And I had just taken over this section of the department and our internship was kind of always a more of a show and tell thing. And I started talking to the Sarge and he had these big plans as far as instrumenting a new uh, neighborhood crime watch uh, program within the city of Bismarck. And Officer Horn at that time was going on maternity leave and so we we're gonna be short a person. And I was kind of thinking, well, that's kind of a big project. I don't know if uh, we've got a guy that's interested in the internship, but knowing the responsibility on it, I'm not sure if he could actually handle such a responsibility. It involves a lot of being out in the public, a lot of interaction with the public, not convincing um, city uh, heads of how, how, how important this project could be for the city of Bismarck and the residents. And I talked to Dr. Uh, Freilich there, and Dr. Freilich told me, yeah, Jake's one of those guys, if uh, he's supposed to be there at 10, he's gonna be there at 10 to 10, and uh, he will do a good job for you. Um, he says he's a good man, and. I had uh, Jake meet with Sergeant Brocker, and they discussed it, and I talked to Sergeant Brocker. I said, well, what do you think? Because I think this guy's gonna work good. So we actually bank, uh, made an internship program with Jake in mind. And um, before our internships were just, like I said, show and tell, like come for a few hours here and there, and I see how the department works. What we did was we actually created a position for Jake there. He had his own office, phone, computer. He had access into our city's files as far as the, the responsibilities. It was actually a really responsible uh, position. And um, Jake, I was told, was supposed to do uh, 300 hours of work for this program. And we were gonna run it through that period. By the end of June, I believe he had the 300 hours in. And I'm like, hey Jake, you did great. I mean, he was out, you know, I remember the first time we, we had him involved with not just Neighborhood Watch, but we had him involved with all sorts of the crime prevention um, aspects, like the, uh, what do you call that when we went to the, uh, the children in that safety town? Yep. So I remember the first time I went to safety town with Jake and I said, all right, you ready to talk to these kids? He's like, yeah, I am. And he got out there and talked to him and related, but he was nervous. And by the end of that week, it was like old hat for him. And, uh, it was kind of cool watching him develop and get so comfortable interacting with the public and, and making an influence. And then I saw him, he was just like part of the department. About a month later, he's going house to house, talking about the Bismarck Police Department, interacting with all the people. And he was, people thought he was an officer. He was so comfortable in his role and the in information he's presenting, which really helped us out. But anyways, to get back to where I was, the end of June, he had the 300 hours in. And I was like, well, you're done, Jake. I mean, we appreciate everything. He goes, no, I wanna, I wanna finish this out. And um, I go, well, you don't have to. I mean, he gave up his summer job. He gave up basically his life driving 30 miles to the station every day and back. Um, I mean, you couldn't ask for a more dedicated person that was doing such a great job. Um, ultimately, I think he finished up what a, a couple days before you had to get back to class that weekend before. And I figured out his hours. So of that 300 hours of, of work he was supposed to do with this, it was 588 hours he, he volunteered to the Bismarck <clears throat> Police Department. And I figured it out just what that would cost. I think, you know, you saved us like $11,000. I mean, not to rub salt. <laughs> but um, I figured out what an officer would have got paid for that. Um, and you did, you were worth, you would have been worth every single dollar of that. There, you you were so dedicated, and it was just 
my my view of the internship program was just like this is great. We could not ask for anything better. So we had thought about, you know what, we can't we couldn't pay you, and you know we 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 had to get together, but we wanted to at least get you something, and um, uh, we went and had a plaque made up for you. Of course, it wasn't done, and we thought, you know what, that works to our advantage because that way we have an excuse to drive down. And we get to visit with and you. Not <laughs> and we did. Coming we, out we, with we, we, we've been looking forward to this. So um, Sergeant Brocker has it, and uh, I'll let him present it to you because he was the one. You guys worked together so well. You made everyone look good. So Jake, the, the lieutenant just touched on on a little bit of it. Um, I was in the weeds when when she when she had the baby. Uh, and, and the fact that you were able to step in, do the alarms and, and all the other stuff, uh, along with all the, that, that stuff with the evidence uh, purge program, uh, I can't thank you enough. And uh, this is just a small token of our, uh, our appreciation. And, uh, I'm gonna ask his wife. Can I get one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mine aren't that bad. <laughs> Says Jake Valroy, in appreciation of your exceptional service to the Bismarck Police Department during your internship in the crime prevention section, your 588 hours of hard work and dedication was greatly appreciated. May 6th through August 23rd, 2019. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for not ruining my uh, program, too. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate coming back in and not being all messed up because I was kind of scared about that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs>